This video shows the instruction on how to score the risk scale. The risk scale evaluates five items. One, facial palsy. Two, arm motor function. Three, leg motor function. Four, head and gaze deviation. Five, aphasia. That must be evaluated if the patient has right hemiparesis or with no motor impairment or agnosia, that must be evaluated if the patient has left hemiparesis. To evaluate the facial palsy, ask the patient to smile or to show his or her teeth. Score the symmetry of the facial movement. Score zero if facial movement is normal and the gesture when showing the teeth or smiling is symmetrical. Score 1. If facial gesture when showing the teeth or smiling is slightly asymmetrical. Score 2. If facial gesture when showing the teeth or smiling is completely asymmetrical. If the patient does not understand or cannot collaborate, application of pressure with the fingers behind the ears can provoke facial grimacing. To evaluate arm hemiparesis, ask the patient to raise the arm 45 degrees if the patient is in supine position or 90 degrees if he or she is sitting. If the patient does not collaborate, extend his or her arms up. Score according to the time the patient can maintain his arms against gravity without touching the bed or the surface. Levante los brazos y aguante los 10 segundos. Uno, dos, Score zero if the patient can maintain the arms against gravity up to 10 seconds. Score one if the patient can maintain the arms less than 10 seconds. Score 2 if the patient cannot maintain the arms against gravity and drops immediately. To evaluate leg hemiparesis, ask the patient to raise each leg 30 degrees with the patient in supine position. If the patient does not collaborate, lift the legs up. Score according to the time the patient can maintain the leg against gravity without touching the bed or the board where he is sitting. Levante las piernas. Uno, dos, tres. Score zero if the patient can maintain the leg against gravity up to five seconds. Score 1 if the patient can maintain the leg less than 5 seconds. Score 2 if the patient cannot maintain the leg against gravity and the leg drops immediately. Observe eyes and head deviation to one side. If the sign is present, the direction of the deviation is to the contralateral side of the hemiparesis. Score zero if absent. No head or gaze deviation is observed. Score one if present. Eyes or head deviation to one side is observed. To evaluate desomatognosia and anosognosia, first evaluate if the patient recognizes his or her left part of the body. Ask the patient, whose arm is this? while showing him or her the paretic arm. Patients with asomatognosia do not recognize the left part of the body. Secondly, evaluate if the patient is aware of the weakness. Ask the patient, can you move your arms and clap your hands? Patients with anosognosia do not recognize their weakness. ¿De quién es este brazo? ¿Este brazo es suyo? ¿Puede mover bien los brazos y aplaudir? Con este sí, pero este no... no... Score zero if there is no asomatognosia nor anosognosia. ¿De quién es este brazo? No lo sé. ¿Es mío este brazo? 
Score one if there is a somatognosia or anosognosia. Con este sí, pero este no, no, no me lo noto. ¿De quién es este brazo? No lo sé. ¿Es mío este brazo? No lo sé. ¿Es suyo? Score two if there is a somatognosia and anosognosia. ¿Puede mover bien los dos brazos y aplaudir? Sí. To evaluate the aphasia, ask the patient two verbal orders that will always be the same. Close your eyes and make a fist. Note that some patients might have aphasia without hemiparesis. Score zero if performs both tasks correctly. Haga un puño con la mano. Score one if performs one task correctly. Cierre los ojos. Cierre los ojos. Haga un puño con la mano. Haga un puño con la Score mano. two if performs neither task. Total score of the risk scale goes from zero to nine points. A score equal or higher than 4 is highly predictive of a large vessel occlusion. Remember that there is an app to evaluate the risk scale. Also, you can find more information about the risk scale in our web page. <laughs>